Listen, low people, I am Jose Andres. Boom. Spain is the land where I was born and where my passion for cooking began. Oh, yeah. Spain lives deep in my soul, and its food has made me who I am, a chef who loves to feed the world. What you hear is the happiness of all the ingredients. It's true. I have more than 30 restaurants across the U.S. Hola. But I am also a humanitarian, feeding millions of people around the world. We did 600 hot meals. A good day. Strong! I moved to America three decades ago, and I raised my family here. And now I'm taking my daughters, Carlota. This is so good. Inez mm. and Lucia. Beautiful. All around my beloved home country. I want them to see it all, learn it all. Come on, Ina, stop, stop, stop. And taste it all. From the most simple, iconic foods, tapas, Bamba. gazpacho, mm. paella. Oh my gosh. To the more sophisticated and unique food of my homeland. This is the most amazing meal. To really get to know Spain, you have to understand its food. This is a trip filled with adventures, Woo! traditions, Bravo! celebrations, and of course, Mira. lots of delicious food. We really are eating our way through Spain. Oh. Welcome. Good morning. Jose. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Who's joining us today? Is this Carlota? Yes, it is. Hello. Hello from Las Vegas. This is such a thrill. Uh, Jose, I am such a fan of yours, a great admirer of yours, and this is a total thrill. You know, Las Vegas is almost uh, another home for me. Well, I'm born and raised here in Las Vegas, so I'm so proud to have you as one of our citizens and, and one of our just successful businesses. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Well, Jose, you know, Spain is where you were born and where your passion for cooking began. And this series reflects that journey. And you did, you wanted to share it with your daughters, didn't you? Well, this, this was the moment, right? We're coming out of a pandemic. We are all looking forward to go back to the always. And I think for us to do this show as a family was a way to be sending the message of, okay, let's, let's start 2023 traveling, looking outside our window, going to the world. And for me, what better place to show not only America, but the world, the place I came from. My daughter is born in America, uh, born in Spain. And in a way, we are becoming this bridge between Spain and America, Spain and the world. For me, traveling with my daughters was probably the, the dream of my life. Obviously, I do it all the time, but to do it in a show uh, was very special. And Carlotta, eating your way through Spain with your father, were there surprises at every turn? I mean, his enthusiasm is infectious, isn't it? Absolutely. And I mean, it's there 100% of the time. It's not just on camera. Um, and just traveling through Spain. I mean, we like what my dad said, we, we do it every summer. Um, but we definitely saw places that we had never been to before. Um, and just being able to do it with my sisters as well was incredible. And Jose, the holidays are here. Are there traditional holiday dishes from your native Spain? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we 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 celebrate uh, uh, Christmas uh, every year when we can. We go back uh, to to Spain, and obviously, cooking and setting the table and singing uh, Christmas carols. That's part of the family uh, tradition. So everybody seems has a favorite and me i have to do the ones i like but then the ones that my wife like and the ones that my daughters want so one of them without uh without a doubt is going to be eating a lot of seafood uh, i love seafood and spain has some of the best seafood in the world so you're going to see things like centollo which is the spider crab simply boil and then eaten like you were eating a blue crab. I mean, uh, simple things that they are delicious, but then we'll do a big roasted uh, leg of pork, jamón asado, uh, that my wife uh, family has uh, been uh, uh, cooking for, for years and years. And if I don't cook that roasted leg of pork, I'm fried. So yeah, cooking is gonna be part of, of, of our Holidays part of our celebration. And I'll eat it all. I like it all. Are you going to cook? Yeah, of course I'll cook. Good. With you. A little I was bit say, 
Carlota being the holidays, which means family and food, what's it like to cook with your father? Is it is it a fun experience or is he kind of a tyrant? Oh, he can be a tyrant for sure, but in a fun way. Um, you know, we'll start, he'll tell us to do one thing and then we'll start doing it, but then he'll take over because we're too slow. Um, but being in the kitchen with him is is oh. always a fun time. We get bored, but hey, it's the responsibility. You know, when you have to feed 30, 40 people, we are a lot of family members. Sometimes... He'll kick us out of the kitchen uh, No, because sometimes you need to run that like a restaurant. Because if not, nobody eats on time. Uh, I like to cook and I like to cook, you know, uh, I like to cook big portions. So I need the people. I need the family. I need longer tables. So I don't know if I'm a tyrant, but sometimes, yes, I'm like, come on, people, move, move, move. <laughs> Well, Jose, you know, I follow you on Twitter and, you know, World Central Kitchen. So much support. Is it just an incredible what you do? I don't understand how you have enough time in a day to do all your accomplishments. Do you think it could ever be too big to too large to handle at one point? Because always people in need, isn't there? Yeah, obviously, uh, in these holidays, especially, uh, we're going to see uh, a very rough winter for a lot of people, especially in Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine has food. It's not about lack of food. It's our country exports but they have a challenge, which is they've been under attack by another country. Uh, so, you know, what we do is trying to, to help them with infrastructure and make it happen and make sure that nobody is without food and water. But then it's more than Ukraine. Even in our own cities in America, we have certain issues uh, that these families that sometimes they don't make it at the end of the, the month and they don't have enough money to put food on the table. So I think it's very important that we take food seriously, not only on the holidays, that we do, you know, food drives and things like that, but that we start putting food in the middle of the table in the good times and in the not so good times. So we come up with good, smart policies and ideas that we can end uh, hunger, not only in America, but around the world. You know, and I'm a Las Vegas native, Jose, and I'm embarrassed to say I have never visited any of your restaurants. So which should be first on my list? I know, Carla, look at that face. I know. <laughs> which should be the first oh, I should visit? Well, he... He hasn't taken me to Bazaar Meat yet, so. So Bazaar Meat will be one uh, at the at the Sahara, one of the iconic uh, long time hotels uh, in Las Vegas. But then, you know, I've been very lucky because remember the I was with restaurants in the last uh, newest casinos in Las Vegas, the Cosmopolitan, and then what was the SLS that then went back to being the Sahara. Uh, I think you have to go to uh, China Poblano that amazing restaurant that brings china and mexico together into one place which is doing amazing but i will say also haleo my spanish place and i will say e the eight seat restaurant in a private private room behind haleo which is a tasting menu that is astonishing so plenty plenty of restaurants my friend for you to visit so come on uh, okay. can i invite you to go to one this christmas this holidays <laughs> Absolutely. I will do that. Jose Carlato, thank you so much for joining me today. And Jose, again, I am such an admirer of yours. And this has been a real thrill. Thank you so much. Thank, hey, you. thank you. Happy thank holidays. You. Bye.